Hello YouTube and fellow DC Comic fans! I'm Keith OneShot, and today is Wednesday, May 2nd, and you know what that means? It is New Comic Book Day! So I'm going to quickly go over and show you the new comic books that I got today, and the comic books that I got last week, because I didn't do my comic book haul last week. Either way, we are going to start this off with last week's comic books, with Hell Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps number 42, and as you see, you got Guy Gardner, John Stewart, Kyle Rayner, and Hal Jordan all on the cover, and this looks to be a great issue. I also didn't have a chance to read many of my books from last week as well, as I've had a very uh, busy week this last week. All right, so the next book that I got last week was Raven, Daughter of Darkness number four, Trigun Triumph, and if you follow the story, it's within DC Rebirth and uh, Raven's run in Teen Titans, but it sits outside of that as well, and this has been a story of Raven. So there's that, it's been a lot of fun. Okay, the next book that I got is Detective Comics number 979. As you see, our dude Tim Drake was being taken over by the OMAC project after uh, Ulysses Armstrong activated it. He got all the codes from the future Tim Drake of tomorrow, and he's been causing a lot of mischief with his group. So there is that. And I love Detective Comics. It's one of my favorite books ever. It's a great read. You gotta read it. Okay, the next book that I got is Batman and the Signal, number three, which is a story of our dude, Duke Thomas, who is the Batman of the daytime, but he is the Signal is his name, and I honestly love his suit. It kind of looks like, uh... Wolverine and Batman mixed together with a death claw there from the Amalgam Universe. But it's really awesome though. He's got his own thing. And I like Duke. He's grown on us over the years since uh, he was first introduced back in the, what, the mid early 2000s, late 2010s? Who knows? Somewhere around there. Either way, the next book that I got is by far one of my favorite DC Rebirth stories and comic books going on. This is The Flash number 45. And as you see, we got Clark Kent on the cover as this was the week. That Action Comics came out with number 80 and all that fun stuff. I got like four covers of Action Comics number 1000, so that was pretty awesome. And it was a really great read, uh, all the little stories within it. Okay, I also got Titans Annual number 2, which um, the Titans have been battling uh, my, uh, the Brain and Cheshire, and I always forget his name. Is it Monosaur Amala? He's not uh, Grodd, but is he, he's the other one who's always hanging out with the the brain so there's that and it says cyborg assassins attack their ch the titans is what also one of my great books too and it's kind of a shame that the team is going to be changing and shaking up after uh, no justice and you know what i mean they kind of been disbanding the team as it is within the story but some people will stay and some people won't but either way titans has been a great read and i can't wait to read and see what's going on in this story as i haven't got a chance to read it last week the next book that i got is Batman Beyond, number 19, The Long Payback, and in this, Terry McGinnis' younger brother, Matt McGinnis, who is also Bruce Wayne's son, his third son, Damian Terry, Matt. Matt is now Robin Beyond, and I have been waiting for that since Batman Beyond was introduced in like 2000, early 2000 something, I don't know what year it was off the top of my head, but that was awesome, and I'm glad to see that that finally happened in Batman Beyond, because I, I it needed to happen, it was great, it made sense. Okay, the next book that I got was Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Annual 2018 Shattered Grid by Boom Comics. If you haven't read this story, it's a lot of fun, and as you see on the cover, we got Lord Draken. We got the dog from, uh, what is it, Lightspeed Rescue or something like that. You know what I mean? You got all the Samurai Ranger. I forget which one she's from. Maybe from Space. That doesn't look like the Space suit. Either way, that's uh, Jason's... Uh, gold ranger suit from zeo and those are the space ranger suits either way shattered grid is awesome if you aren't reading shattered grid if you love power rangers definitely pick it up it's from boom comics and it's a lot of fun the art is amazing and it's a really great story it's like the power rangers that we deserved it's the power rangers that grew up with us or should have grown up with us but they kept rebooting it either way we're gonna go into this week's comic books which i got go go power rangers number eight which is also a tie-in to shattered grid as well and this is one of lord draken's um this is evil pink ranger it would be evil kimberly her suit is pretty awesome it's pretty badass i like the tattered cape i like the black with the pink which is an opposite where they normally do pink and white um so that's really cool and it's awesome and the cape is awesome and the gloves it's a really great design like i said that too i mean they're killing it over at boom this is also from boom comics and it's a Separate series, but these are all tying in to the Mighty Morphin's uh, Shattered Grid story. Okay, I also got 
Go Go Power Rangers number 9, which is also a tie-in to Shattered Grid as well. And as you can see, the original Rangers are battling this evil Pink Ranger. So that's really great and it's really cool and it's going to be a lot of fun. Boom Comics knows what they're doing and they're handling the Power Rangers property very well. Speaking of Power Rangers property, Saban was just just sold Power Rangers and a bunch of other things to Hasbro, I believe yesterday, for $522 million. So Power Rangers is going to be shepherded by a new company, Hasbro. It's not the first time that Saban sold Power Rangers before. They sold it to Disney uh, back in the mid-2000s, and then uh, Saban bought it back from Disney. But yeah, so there's that. Okay, the next story that I got is Injustice 2, number 25, Allies and Enemies. And as you see, Bruce Wayne is on the cover with Diana Prince, and they seem to be at war. I kind of haven't read. If you follow my channel, you know I buy every Injustice book for whatever reason, because I haven't read. I read two issues of Injustice 2. But either way, I still keep buying them, because eventually, you know, on a rainy day, I'm going to read them. Okay, the next book that I got, and you need to get this book, it's 25 cents. This is DC Nation number zero, which is pretty much like a summer sampling of the stories that are going to be coming up. You're going to see Batman's wedding with Catwoman and the Joker is going to be there. You're going to see some No Justice stuff. We're going to see some Superman stuff. And we're going to see some Flash War stuff, which I cannot wait because Flash War is going to be the shit. Joshua Williamson is an awesome writer, and Howard Porter is an amazing artist, and he's doing the art for Flash War, and I've seen some of it so far, and it looks tremendous. Okay, the next book that I got is, this is Batman Mainline title, I forget the number, I think it's in the high, it's low 40s, somewhere, either like that, it's the uh, Booster Gold, I believe it's called a Gift, Booster Gold came in and he changed time, and Batman's living in an alternate thing, look at Booster Gold here with a beard, that's awesome. This has been a great story. Tom King is hilarious, a great writer, um, and Batman has been pretty good. He's done a lot to like make Batman a real person and kind of flush him out and make him funny. And I really like that. It's a really different take on Batman. But if you like Batman, definitely read this. It's the mainline Batman book. I forget the number off the top of my head, and I got the cover that doesn't have it, so which is not helpful. Oh, it's uh, Batman 46. There we go. Thanks, Tom King. Okay, another one of these. They've been doing a lot of these without the numbers on them uh, lately, but this is... Nightwing number 44, and as you see, Dick Grayson is running through the rain, and if you like Nightwing and you like his adventures through Bloodhaven and all the other places that he goes, yeah, I said Bloodhaven, because Bloodhaven is corny to say. Bloodhaven is how it's spelled, and Bloodhaven is how I shall pronounce it. Either way, that's Nightwing number 44, and it's a great read. I'm kind of blowing through this a little quick, because uh, I got two weeks worth of comics here, and I want to read all of them. Okay, my local comic book shop owner talked me into buying this book with Infinity War just coming out, and he loves Marvel, and he's always trying to talk me into re-reading re Marvel again, and I like Marvel, I like Spider-Man, I like X-Men, I know the history, I know the characters, I'm very well versed in it, but I did stop reading it at a certain point in the 2000s, but I did pick up Avengers number one, I don't like that female, uh, that She-Hulk, she's not supposed to be beefcake bulky like that, she's supposed to be slender and beautiful and attractive, but yet still green! But uh, I've heard a lot of other people complaining about the design as well. But you see Carol Danver, uh, Captain Marvel, quote unquote. You got Thor, you got Black Panther, you got Iron Man, you got Doctor Strange, you got Ghost Rider. They're all there. So let's see what happens. And I told him that I would give it a read and let him know what I think as he's trying to convince me to start picking up Marvel books as well. Let's see how that works out, true believers. Okay, the last book that I got is Action Comics number 1001, even though it says one there. This is Brian Michael Bendis' first by himself Action Comic title. So let's see what happens in Bendis' first run on Action Comics. I've got so many books to read today. I'm Keith OneShot. Take care. Have a great day. Also, yeah, I did uh, make a History of Wally West 2 video last weekend, part one and two. You can expect to see the History of Wally West 2 Part 2 later this weekend. Either way, I'm Keith OneShot. Take care, have a great day, read plenty of comic books, and goodbye!